Got that. Hold on, let me put my stuff together, man. Hold on. <laughs> All right, we good? Uh huh. All right. Yo, it's your boy DJ Knucklehead. Boy, you a knucklehead. Shout out to Pooh Gator, So Gator TV. Y'all stay around for it, man. We about to go in on this interview. Y'all about to hear a lot from me. It's been, what, almost, what, I said about two years since anybody heard anything from me with any interview. So, let's get it. She the first to get it from me. Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's the kid, your favorite kid, Pooh Gator. Welcome back to another episode. You're not tuned in to this is a twist to it. We usually have inside the music behind the artist. But this right here is inside the music behind the DJ. Or you can say inside the ground behind the DJ. Whatever you want to do, however you want to, you know what I'm saying, Rudy, because this man right here is no stranger to neither the music or the ground. DJ Knucklehead, what they do? Good, man. Chilling, man. It's not going to do. We sit down there, you know what I'm saying? I know. <laughs> I real, know, baby. Real. Nobody ever haven't got a chance to interview me in about two years, man. Yeah. It's, it's been offers, but nah, it's turned out. just been focusing on DJing. The traveling been been crazy now, man. So yeah. Let's it's talk about nice. the traveling. Like, um, you know, was, was that like, because I'm sure every DJ wants to kind of be able to get out of their city and, and do their thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, was that hard to do? Like, how was the grind to, no. to get to that? Any grind. Like, with any grind doesn't matter. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Rapping, DJing, artistic. A whole whatever you want to call it, whatever <laughs> career you decide. What are you doing? Hey, you feel me? Process and all that shit. You feel me? Hey. Yeah. Hey, just do it. That's the best advice that you can ever get. Just do it. Right. You feel me? Hey, like now you say, just do it. You can be their spokesperson with that. You feel me? Nah, <laughs> but but it's true though That's because good. because of the fact that it's like a lot of people got that fear in them, like oh I have to worry about this, I have to worry about that. But what if this happened? What if that happened? Right. Just do it. You would never know what's gonna happen until you just do it. That's right. So, so that's what I tell people. You feel me, man? Look, if you if you see uh, a person just standing at the bar, you feel me? They by themselves, whatever. Walk to them, talk to them, yeah. see what's up with them. Just do you it. would never know what what that person could do for you. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. all of us, because you just did something that that you was afraid to do from the get go. Right. Just do it. That's how. That's how I'm always moving the way I move because I just do shit. Like, like far as the vibe, the way I carry myself, it just, I just, I just be me. Right. It, right. Like it is what it is. If the, if the vibe ain't right, the situation ain't right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's real. But, but, but when I vibe right, just do it. Cause at the end of the day, you know what I always try to tell people: vibes is, you know, what I'm saying another, you know, short for vibration. Mm -hmm. So when you're around a certain vibration, you you know that vibration, you know what I'm saying, is is it good, and you know when to move away from it. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, like like you said, the vibe, you know when the vibe right, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. It's the yeah. vibration, it's the energy that's, that's being, you know what I'm saying. Exactly. You know, so. Um, and don't overthink it. Don't ever overthink a situation. When you overthink a, a situation, it's gonna fuck you up at the end. Right. So. Yeah, I like the fact that you said just do it, though, and I was going to say um, I 100% agree. Because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, if, if, if you don't have everything you, that you need to, to, to actually fully do it, just do whatever you can to get it started. And mm -hmm. then eventually, whatever you know what I'm saying, whatever it is that you feel like you're missing, go yep. come to play. But if you don't even at least start, you'll never, you know what I'm saying, yeah. see that mark. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I like the fact that you said that. Just do it. Yeah, you yeah. got to, you got to. So, what made you want to be a DJ? Let's get right into it. What made you want to be a disc jockey? This jockey. This jockey. <laughs> Freaky wiki wiki wiki. <laughs> no, nah, um, just just pretty much um, my uncles, my okay. uncles on both sides of the family. You feel me? Okay. I took up both traits, the hood and the mainstream. You feel me? Right. Like, like my uncle, on my dad's side, he does all the hood underground shit. Okay. All that Miami booty shaking. Real, that real Miami shit. Right. My uncle deals with like all the mainstreams and stuff, like all the old school and new, like well, some of the new school. You feel me? Right. Is is like best of both worlds, and both of them DJs. So it's like being around them a lot. It's like makes you want to do it. Yeah. Cause my old boy wasn't really too much in my life, so right. they was the man who I was looking up to. Okay. You feel me? So you kind of, um, you know, not only is it in your blood, but you kind of got like, you know, a lot of firsthand lessons from, like you said, both sides. Yeah. And that pretty much like, so when the time came, you decided, all right, I'm about to start doing this. Did you feel like you had, like you was equipped enough from watching them, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. and observing it to get in and get straight to DJ Nuggethead? Of course, of course, okay. of course, of course, man. It was okay. just, it was just like, man, fuck it. <laughs> like yeah. they hit, 
Man, man, look, if you if you make it six hundred in one day, fucking nine to five four. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's like, right. Like, you make it six hundred off of this one party. Right. In one day. Right. And then you got you got people that's making six hundred in one week. Right. What you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do no, nah, bro. That's real. So so like so you count Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You feel me? Yeah. That's that's a whole two weeks check in just three days. Real, for real. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? So uh, hey, I just. So it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense to sense. me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So you said that. So okay, when you first started, you weren't serious. Like, it, like you were like, let me see if I can do this. When did you officially start taking DJ in? Like seriously? Like you seriously started? Like my first party I did <laughs> by myself. So from the beginning, pretty much. Yeah. Cause okay, so you had like a little bit of a start with them. Yeah. And then you got out there on your own at first party, and after that, you never looked back. Never looked back. Wow. And how long ago was that? Since I was 14. I started at 13, but it was 14 when I really took it serious. Okay. And then 15, 15 is when I was in the strip clubs, DJing for strippers, me coming, showing up to school with three, four hundred dollars in my pocket, buying hair, buying lunch and shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So you started young, basically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and this is like pretty much definitely over a decade worth of, of, of DJing. Okay, mm -hmm. so how did you get the name DJ Nugget? How did you decide on that? Just being called out a lot. <laughs> what you mean, like as far as some other DJs? Or? Nah, nah, my uncle, my uncle, and yeah, 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 yeah okay. the other DJs too. Okay. Because of the, because the type of shit I, I was doing. I mean, I mean, like shit, I was just doing a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Not being the knucklehead. <laughs> being the goddamn knucklehead. Yeah. Okay, so so you really true to that name. Like that name really was birthed from a real place, you can say. Yeah. Yeah, but but now I kinda like switched it up a little bit uh -huh. and put it into my own um ways and of of like being a knucklehead, you feel me? It's just instead okay. of me like being a knucklehead and, and getting on everybody's nerves in a bad way, I'm I'm being a knucklehead and getting on everybody's nerves in a good way. Like right. I'm like I'm like like I'm talking shit to you over the mic in front of everybody, you feel me? Like right. I don't care shit. Yeah. Fucking knucklehead. Hey, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But but you smiling though. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah. That's real. That's real. Okay. You seen it a few times. Yeah, like, nah, shit. yeah, definitely, definitely. Shit. With the um, with the Beyonce song, Pat Joey's lady. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, hey. Don't be afraid of um, Pat and stuff. You bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you definitely like to have fun in the process. Yes. Yeah. So I think, does that like also drive you to keep doing it? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. It's got its downfalls, you feel me? But the majority of it is it's pretty much fun, though. It's, it's fun because the fact that you meet a lot of people and it, and it like shows you more of the world in one place than you traveling all over okay to find out you, you feel me? yeah that makes sense yeah yeah you, you still traveling you still travel through you do your thing you feel right. me? but you'll get a better feel when you're working and and, and and you connect with the people more when you're on a on a like on a one-on-one -on -one basis performing in front of them i mean okay. So. yeah okay so yeah like uh being a dj is definitely like performing yeah. You say. Uh, yes. You got you got to prepare and everything. You practice your set. Mhm. Mm okay. So what's the difference between the the the, the first you know what I'm saying fourteen year old nuggethead between the now nuggethead the one who got the shirt you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know, the, the, the the branding up and all that like what's the difference? I'm more I'm more calm now. Okay. Than than, than it was back then. Back then I was just. The type that had fun but still didn't give a fuck about mm -hmm. your feelings, about none of that shit. Right. If you wasn't in my circle. You feel me? Right. But now now it's like to the point where I have to like really focus on myself and well well my true self and to be comfortable enough to show everybody the full true form of knucklehead. Okay. You feel me? Instead of just like being like, Hey, what's up, how you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it took you a while to actually for you to actually fully know the true and full nugget. So now you finally ready to show everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think maybe that had a lot to do with it too. At that time the fourteen year old had to grow up into the you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Responsible, respectable man and DJ yeah. that you become. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we kinda of talked about that, but what motivates you to keep going? Yeah. You say you're having fun. Just having what fun. what else would be the motivation? Is is 
it's just me learning more patience. Patience when it comes down to personal and business. You know what I mean? Right. I'm the type that would be like, come on, catch up, catch up, catch up. I need you to be on it. I need you to be on it. Be on it. Now, it's like I'm starting to understand that everybody's not on the pace that you want. Yes, yeah, the same pace that I'm on. So right. it's like I have to like really just put myself more into a better understanding. Like, I'm a very understanding person, mm -hmm. but I'm more understanding now that I had to take a step back and like observe everything around me. Like, damn, what's wrong here? What's wrong now? Right. What what can I do to make this, this relationship is strong? What can I do to make this relationship is strong? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, and just, yeah. and just have patience for it to grow. Right. Like, like a, uh, like a wise man told me, mm -hmm. everything, everything that you do is like a plant. Once you seed it and you water it, you just gotta let it grow. You feel me? It, it, it's not gonna grow overnight, but you gotta have that patience for it to grow. You feel right, me? right. So, I hundred percent agree with that. Hundred percent. So, uh, what's the hardest thing about being a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna get a laugh. But <laughs> Man, the hardest thing about being a DJ is dealing with ignorance. Okay. Ignorance is a. You want to elaborate on the type of ignorance or like an example of ignorance or? Um, the 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 consistence of people steady trying to tell you how to do your job. Okay. You know I mean. Mhm. Mm like, like if you, if a, if a person is paying me. X amount of money to to play nothing but, rock music. Mhm. Mm I should not have nobody coming to me asking me about any hip hop. Mm. You feel me? And if a person keeps steady at bugging me, bugging my hip hop, they will have to wait till the end of the night for me to play because of the fact that I still have a job to do. Mm -hmm. And That's then right. and people then, don't understand that. Yeah. People think, oh, you supposed to play what I want you to play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So 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 now so now when I tell them I, I'm not able to do it, it I get an attitude from people and it's like you ain't doing your job. You this, you that, you this, you that. Yeah. And it, and it's like you just ignorant yourself because you're not understanding. Yeah. What I'm telling you, as far as like, look, this is what I'm being paid for to do. This is what I'm told to do. So therefore, I have to do it. Just like you do. Just like you told what you do on your nine to five. This is my nine to five. Right. So therefore, is it is either you gonna sit back and watch everybody else dance, or you just leave the goddamn party? You feel me? Like it, it doesn't matter to me, but it's yeah. aggravating to actually see and hear people talk you crazy because they can't get what they want because they feel like I'm a karaoke, or well, not a karaoke, but a but a jukebox. Right. You feel me? You're not paying me. You're not cutting my check. Right. The person that's paying me is, is the one I got the check in, in their hand, and I have to do what they when they say yeah what, what they want yeah for their service. I'm providing right. service for them, not you. Right. You feel me? And see, uh, I guess people, like, I guess you could say club goers don't understand that. They think you just, oh, mm -hmm. you know, he a green ass DJ. He ain't even trying to get us in, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in the vibe we want to be in. Mm -hmm. He ain't trying to make us dance. Cause, you yeah. know, but they don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go to the next question. I'm, I'm going to come back to the question I was about to ask. What, what, what's the, uh, you said that, that's the hardest part. What's, like, the best part, the greatest part about being a DJ? Because <laughs> 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 you always get free liquor? That too, but no, nah, no. Nah. It's, it's just like because you always having a good time, you always like in party yeah, mode. But but not 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 only that though, all jokes aside for real, it just it just being able to do what I love. What I have a passion for. Okay. And that's what a lot of people need to find. Yeah. Passion. Find their passion. Too. Even though it, it, even though you might not make money for it now, but if you keep going, keep pushing yourself, and you like letting people know what you do, right? Because like Jeezy said, close mouth don't get, scare money, don't make money. You know? That's real, yeah. Which, real. In other words, in layman's terms, closed mouths don't get fed. You feel know? me? That's real. So, so it's just pretty much doing what I love to do, and a lot of people recognize that I love it. Right. Along with other DJs, it's just the fact that I'm in a different direction from a lot of DJs in this area. Right. I mean, no, no shots, no shots thrown to nobody, no shots. Right. You feel me? It's just that I know what I want, so I'm gonna get what I want. Okay. I done, I done accomplished the things that I could do, so I'm about to go out and do it again. Okay. You feel me? So keep I'm doing, it, keep doing it till they add up. Yeah. 
So, in your opinion, this is this is a question that's not even on my list, but in your opinion, what what is a DJ? What should a DJ do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what should a DJ be, provide? Uh, What's his service, I guess you could say? Uh, a more, like, like in words of Big Stool, Climb Out South. Okay. <laughs> He's That's gonna like hide. Stool. He's gonna hide. <laughs> 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 He's gonna hide. Be like, man, create a party vibe, man. No, man, come on, create a party vibe, man. Yeah, so this ain't this ain't the beach, man. This ain't Winwood. Yeah, man, this is the hood, man. Create a party vibe. That's real. That's real. <laughs> but but in 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 a break it down on that to a lot of people that that's not catching it. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what he's saying and and. And I actually took that and ran with it. Right. It's just create a fun, a, a positive atmosphere. Definitely. Create that positive atmosphere. You feel me? Right. Because, I mean, a club is like a party. You know what I'm saying? You do yes. go to the club, the party. You want to have fun. Yes. You want to drink, do what you do. Yes. So, you know, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of like you do have to, you kind of got to be three different DJs. You got to be the beach DJ. You got to be the Winwood DJ. And you got to be the... The hood. Exactly kind of DJ. Yeah. So, I mean, like, when, like, you know, when do you know... I gotta be this type of DJ. I gotta, you know, when do you know what DJ is the right one for what set? By the songs you play. Okay. By the songs you play and the reaction that you get from the songs that you play. Okay. So, so, so if I play like Raw Wave, Green Light, mm -hmm. and, 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 everybody, go crazy. and everybody go crazy, yeah. you already know the vibe, the vibe that you gotta bring. Okay. You feel me? Right. And and if you play like um something like, like more mainstream, um, okay. I'm gonna go with. Um, chase his money with E40 and them. You feel me? Okay, yeah. Then, then you gotta go more into the radio station era. Right. With with a little bit of un other underground. Okay. And then more of the Winwood vibe will be like more open format reggaeton, reggae. A you little bit of pop. Yeah, you mixing up just about everything. Okay. Okay. So you definitely gotta know your crowd. No, and I, I think you know. Me personally, I think that's kind of you know a job with a DJ mm -hmm. to really know the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't know this crowd, how you gonna how you gonna put them in the party vibe? If you don't even know the type yeah. of you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they gotta feel you. You feel me? So they like, like people has has to like connect with you. Right. As far as the vibe that you want, if you if you cannot get nobody to connect with you, you're not doing your job. Right. Right. So DJ Tiller on that note too. One hundred percent. I ain't gonna lie, boy, I've been in the club sometimes and it'd be like some DJs, I'd be like, what the, you know what I'm saying, what the hell? And I was just in the club, uh, Burn 21, like last week, and DJ Dickham Down was in there. You know, he he been doing this thing a long time, so, you know, he pretty much, he stamped, he like a legend. Well, I said this man was going there so hard, he had me like, like, ooh, like, I, I look back at him like, like, boy, like, God, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's when you know, like, oh, yeah, he, that That's DJ right there, you know what I'm saying? That Dickham and Wayne you going to doing this in the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know he in his zone. You know he been yeah. like, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Yo, yeah. oh, stop me. Somebody come stop me. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Let him know. That's how he was, man. He was really in that mode. And I mean, it's kind of like, you know, what you just said. You kind of don't get that dick him all the time. So when you get that dick him, like, it's like, yeah. I was saying, I turned around like, well, that ain't, that ain't the same dick him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a different dick him right there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, you know, you just know when to bring out that, that side of being a DJ. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. So what can we expect from you this year? You know, it's been two years, like you just said. You know what I'm saying? So now, like, it's 2020. Everybody want to yeah. know what can we expect from, from Team DJ Nugget, Team Nugget, period. A stronger team. Okay. Um, Just, 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 uh, all right, okay. More traveling, for sure. More traveling, of course, that. Okay. Um, And then, of course, it's, it's, it's like a lot of people just been requesting to to just see me in general not not trying to sound like a celebrity because i didn't i already got backlash on that but shit shit naturally from what what can i what can i say people just love me <laughs> you know what i mean uh, along uh, along with other djs down south you feel me mm -hmm. like like what can i say definitely one of my it, favorite djs ain't gonna lie. it's it's in it you hear me <laughs> no <laughs> but uh, um but yeah, uh, just a stronger team, more promotion, more traveling, more more just of DJ Knucklehead and more inside of him. Like what's what he cares about. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna show that side. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, nah. 
Uh -huh. uh, because it's a it's a lot of people that's gonna try and take advantage of that, and I don't. Yeah. I don't got time because you show that to the people who you know you got who need yeah. to be shown that yeah. for the most part. Yeah, because because he'll tell you, Mustafa, he he will tell you straight up. When I get pissed, I get pissed. Yeah. And <laughs> it's not a pretty sight when I get pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but it just it just it just pretty much more the brand, man. Just, right. Just the brand itself, man. So, with, with you saying that, I mean to cut you off, but how, how important is getting yourself out the networking and branding, like you just said? Like, how important is that, like, you know, as far as the stapling, what you're doing? That's, that's, that's 99% of your grind. 99. Okay. Not no 50, oh, I got to work, oh, I'm too tired. Yeah. No, nine, 99, like, like damn DNA test say on Maury and child support. <laughs> 99.9999999999 percent of your grind. Yeah. Okay. That is very important. Yeah. So if you got a job and you want to rap, I don't care. After work, hit the studio. After work, go to a show, perform, network. After work, it's real. I'm gonna say it again. After work, go and build your brand. Whatever it is, build your brand after work. No excuses. If you make an excuse, you ain't taking yourself serious. I don't care. That's real right there, y'all. That's 100%. Yeah, that's 100%. Uh, so, to you, that's very important. Mm -hmm. Not just for a DJ, for anybody. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, that's really serious about what they're doing. Like I said, how can I take you serious when they don't even seem like you take yourself serious? Exactly. Yeah. That's when that's when check come in for the artist. <laughs> so, uh, what advice can you give to people, you know, if there was any advice that you can give them? Just on, on anything. About what I said earlier, just do it. Okay. That was definitely some good advice. Just do it. Doesn't matter. Just do it. Oh, oh. None of the promoters don't don't want to pay for me to show. Okay. What can? You, how many people can you bring to the to the club? Okay. What? Oh, but but <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He still wants me to perform. But I'm not gonna bring all these people. So what? Yeah, that makes just no sense to me though. That makes no sense to me. You feel me? But yeah, I see. So if they if they want you to perform, just perform. That's real. Just do it because the fact that you will never know who is watching you and who is willing to give you an opportunity based off what your grind is doing and how you moving and pretty much how you carry yourself. That's real. That's 100%. Mm -hmm. That's real. Great advice. So, is there anything you, anything else you want to tell them? Anything you want to let them know? Anything you feel they should know? Just keep watching. Didn't you drop a, a project last one ago? Like uh, what was it was a mixtape or something? It was a mix. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. Cause I, I, didn't I know you it. haven't really dropped anything like that that nature in a while. So the fact that you dropped anything is kind of like hold up. That <laughs> that that right there. I I put it out there and just it just like let it circulate on its own. You feel me? Okay. Like like that didn't really need too much promotion. It just like pushed itself. Right. So it was like it went from. One one play at, at like ten minutes, then just jump right up to to about four or five hundred plays in about an hour or so. So, wow, uh -huh. that was up. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you got people that really yeah. really go out with you and be waiting and expecting yeah. that. I ain't I ain't really push it hard. All I did was take a link, send it to everybody who I know, and it just took care of itself. Right. Mm. Okay. That's how you know you got real supporters behind you. Surely, for real, for real. So let them know how they can find you on social media. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you you active on? Instagram, um, knucklehead underscore three zero five, and knucklehead with a K. With a K, because a lot of people that done came to me. Who's trying to spend again with a C? No, no, with the end. They just, they just, oh, they just had to okay. just left the K out. And just, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, I thought somebody was trying to spell with a C. I'm like, wait a minute. Nah. Yeah, I guess I can see why they would, you know. Yeah. They but, think why knuckles. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, but knuckles spell with a K, so it's like, bruh, yeah, like, like, right. like, why would I leave out the K with the man? Uh, look, knuckle, <laughs> <laughs> for real, but okay, so knucklehead on, on everything, is it? knucklehead underscore 305, SoundCloud, knucklehead underscore 305, Twitter, knucklehead underscore 305, Snapchat, DJ underscore knucklehead, okay. Facebook, just. DJ Knucklehead, Team Knucklehead, and then Facebook, everybody done, cause somebody gonna spam my shit, <laughs> cause I my government name, 
Yeah. Jordan Shaw. Yeah. In case you're looking for him. So, that's pretty much it, man. Like, you know, it's been two years, and now I feel like seeing, I, I did this interview, I, I want to see more of what's about to come. Now I'm really going to be watching and paying attention. Yeah. So like I said, you kind of snuck that, you know, that little piece out there just to, just to get it. And you, you, you just put it out there, not mm -hmm. even really put too much pressure behind it. And it jumped up in, in an hour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the whatever you do this year, I know it's going to be big and you're going to have your supporters and people like mm -hmm. support you and watch you the whole way. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what's so crazy? Well, I, just, I just flew in from Vegas. <laughs> yeah, real, real. Hey, man, and I appreciate you because you know that's how I know that you rock with me the long way, yeah. every way. Because you know, you 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 being as as a uh, big a celebrity as you is, I'm not, <laughs> not yet. You could have just said, uh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm tired. I just got off the plane, but bro, hit me up. Bro, said I just got off the plane. You know, hit me up. Woo, woo. Hey, man, we here. Here it is. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. got off work, and it's kind of like what you were saying about you know after work, you know, still putting in work, still putting in work. Yeah. You know, no matter what it is, so. Mm. The fact that you just got off a plane, you just, you know, came from, you know, where you was and still doing this, it says a lot. Mm -hmm. So y'all make, make sure y'all take notes, man. Hope y'all got y'all pen and pad out. And, um, you know, till next time, because it will be the next time. Next time, we won't take so long. The, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, cause it took, it took about two yeah. months for us to get this interview with Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, you free to stay? Nah, I ain't free to stay with it. This yeah, man, man, this man was out of town so much, man. <laughs> That's really what it was. He was out of town so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now that we done did this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can look around for it. Y'all can stay tuned for it. Y'all already know. Go follow him on SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, everything. Because if you're not, you're missing out. Mm. I can't even tell you. Yeah, <laughs> pressure volume one. Was that the first one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 200,000 players on, on SoundCloud. Yes, you ain't know that was your first, first one. Yeah, that was my first mixtape. 200,000 players on SoundCloud. If y'all didn't know, man, I had a sneak peek on there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I made a guest appearance. And, and I think that really, you know what I'm saying, like just spoke to how serious you take breaking records, putting people on, and doing all that. Because since then, you know, you've been my official DJ since then. Still yeah. to this day, my official DJ. Yeah. So just know, man, just know. I've been telling him, get it coming back. He literally always in my ear about, you know what I'm saying, like getting back to it. So when I get back to it, I already know it got to be right. Or he ain't going to, he ain't going to rock with it. He going to let me know, nah, get it. That I'm ain't it. I'm going to throw it on you. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, hey, that was, that, was the, that was the one for the strip club, boy. Right now, the day they play that bitch, and it's going bananas. It's up, it's up. Yeah, man, that's what they it's about. Call me Gator. Hey. Gator. Gator. Hey. Pool Gator. Okay, Gator. Gator. And I'm so Gator. So what? So Gator. So what? So Gator. Uh -huh. Oh, so entertaining. There we go. Hey, man, we out, man. This is officially Inside the Music Behind the Artist. I said, I say Inside the Music Behind the DJ, DJ Nuggethead. Go get it, man. All that stuff that he would tell you about, go get it. Look out for it, and we'll be out. Pop. Don't